Hi Socials 9 students. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys how to use Canva and uh, online images to make a postage stamp design. So a reminder um, that in the, for your nationalism project, this is one of the two options. The other one is make a, a presentation about nationalism, but to, at the same time, uh, if you're more interested in kind of uh, more the artistic side, you might want to choose this, or you could do this as well as the nationalism PowerPoint. But uh, first of all, um, I guess the first question that comes up is why do stamps? I see it this way. In postage stamp, a lot of people see just the uh, little stickers that they put onto letters. But if you do pay attention to them over the course of time, from when they were first issued in the 1840s up until now, you'll see that they've changed a lot over the years. Not just in, uh, say, the quality of the presentation, but in exactly what was being shown in them. So in, you know, in Canada's first postage stamp, for example, we're seeing uh, a beaver, which is maybe not too surprising given that the fur trade was so active in Canada at that time. Um, royalty was another really common theme, you know, at, at the same time, um, at least historically has been. At the same time, you know, that's, that's changed over time. They, for a lot of people these days, the Queen of England is not super important to their lives. And so as a result of that, we started to focus on other themes that are more interested, I mean, interesting to us as Canadians. You know, we remember and admire Terry Fox, the runner, um, and the challenges, remember the challenges he faced. And of course, we can all appreciate a, a good game of hockey. So either way, stamps, um, or however you think about it, stamps, are a way of serving the history of a country and for the country's government to or postal system to represent that country abroad and uh, of course within the country on every letter that is sent. Um, not surprisingly, different countries have uh, different images that are shown that, that reflect again the same thing, the course of the history of those countries. It's really interesting to look, for example, at Chinese stamps. You know, the earliest Chinese stamps were issued when the Chinese Empire was still a thing, when Chinese actually the China actually had an empire. And then they had a huge revolution and the communists took over. And, um, you know, anyways, we could, it's a separate conversation, really. But the point is here that you can see how the history of a country can be tracked by in its uh, postal system in the stamps that it has issued. Now, for you guys, I um, want to focus at this point on um, basically what is on a stamp and how to make a stamp using Canva. So first of all, I guess the one question that comes up is what's on a stamp. So let's just go back to this one right here, if I can get to it. Classic stamp right here, hockey players. Here's what I want you to notice. Obviously, it's made of paper. It has these edges here that are called perforations. That's where that's where people tear them to separate one stamp from another. Every stamp will have the following. It will have a cash value of this postage stamp, and it's going to have the country that it was issued for. Sometimes it'll say posted, but not necessarily. Often it's going to say what the unit of currency is. Here, this is just a five cent stamp, and sometimes you're going to see a one dollar stamp and the symbol for that, although you don't even always see the currency. So that's what your stamp should have. You should expect it to have a picture, the country, and a dollar or cent amount that is the value of the stamp. So that's going to be in every one. One thing I'd like you to notice in terms of the images, if you look at stamps, usually stamps don't have photographs on them. Usually they're what are called engravings like this, or often they're going to have drawings or paintings. Let me show you a few of the examples that I made to kind of guide you guys a little bit with this project. Uh, where did I put them? Uh, they're on Teams. Here they are in Files on Teams. So I do recommend you check out um, Files and Teams um, for your Socials 9 team um, because what you'll see there is a number of files that I've made that can kind of give you an idea of the potential of, of this kind of a project. So if you look, for example, at 
Well, that's not the one. Um, if you look at stamp product example one right here. Oh, that's not the one I want to do. There. Familiar figure to everyone. Wayne Gretzky with a hockey stick and a couple of hockey sticks on the side just for just to fill in space. And at the bottom, we have a dollar value um, and the country because every stamp needs to have those two things. How do you do this? I did this by working in the pro a program called Canva. Canva is um, a pretty awesome program for making videos, logos, but what's important for you guys is you can use it for making posters. The way I've done this is I've made posters on stamps. You need to use mostly the uh, uploads feature here, adding text, and I'm gonna use put my mouse over the uploads feature, adding text, and then you might want to do some other things like um, uh, add the work on the background if it lets you do that to what you want. One thing you will notice with this is I'm working on the free version. You're gonna have to get yourself a a trial account on Canva, and I'm just working on the free version, and you're probably not going to want to pay either. Um, if you were to get the paid version of Canva, that opens up a lot of other options, but obviously I'm not expecting you to do that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to upload your frame for your stamp. I made a few options that are on the team. Uh, here's one right here. I don't really like this, the blank background white background, so I made one that's got a kind of a blue background that gives you just a little more color to play with. It just looks nicer, in my opinion. Um, the way I set this up, I guess I needed to make it, needed to crop it, and look at that. That's the crop tool. Let me show you that again. So, to crop, you click up there on the crop feature. You go to the corner of the image, and you can drag it and crop it. Now, at that point, it's not very big, but that is totally fine, because what you can do now is you can make it bigger. You click on the image, and you drag it by the corner, and you can make it larger or smaller. Now, the stamp that I made that I showed you earlier, um, of course, I had that as a landscape style. It was not a portrait style. The Wayne Gretzky one is, is portrait, but I'm going to do one this landscape. Now, in a paid version of Canva, you can actually have the whole poster be landscape and make the big thing bigger. I haven't figured out how to do that in the unpaid version. If anyone can figure that out, well, that's great. Um, but what you can do is you can simply rotate the stamp. So it started out as portrait style and I rotated it. Now it's landscape style. So now we have kind of a background to work on. In other words, a blank stamp. Where do you get the images? Well, from, for me, what I did is I planned what I wanted to go on the stamp based on things that are uniquely Canadian, inter recognizable because they're a Canadian feature. So the ob an obvious one to go with ob was Wayne Gretzky, but then I thought, hey, what's uniquely BC? Well, something really special to us in BC would be the Great Bear Rainforest. And maybe some of you are familiar with some of the Haida art that comes from the BC coast as well. So I made one like that. I found these images just doing a Google image search. Google image searches, if you're not familiar with how to do them, you literally go on to Google. You literally go on to Google and you do an image search. So let's say I wanted to do an image search of um, uh, Haida Gwaii. There, I did a search for Haida Gwaii in Google, and I click on images. There. Um, and then you can download that image often by clicking on it, and then if you're on a PC, you can right-click, and you just drag that onto your desktop. If you're on a Mac, I know not, most of you won't be sometimes. that It's a little bit of a different process, but you just need to find those images and download them. And again, with stamps, Mostly they're going to 
look more genuine as stamps, look more real as stamps, if instead of photographs, you're doing paintings or drawings. This would be a great painting to do. Emily Carr, she's a well-known BC artist. Put her on a stamp and you'd have something be very believable as a Canadian stamp. But that's not the one I did. I'm going to go back to Canva and I'm going to show you the images I chose. So I found a picture of the Great Bear Rainforest and I like it because it's a landscape photo and I can work with that. So let's put that in there. A simple click on that. This is to be clear after I've already uploaded the image. So you want to upload it. It's going to get in your little group right here and you click and there it goes in your file in, inside the poster that's growing. All right. So I want this to kind of fit on inside the space. So I'm expanding a little bit, making it larger, maybe making it a bit more centered. And I also want to put in Bill Nye's picture. So or Bill Reed's picture, excuse me, putting in Bill Reed's picture and it's got a lot of white space on it. So I'm going to crop it a little bit there and there. And they're going to crop it from this corner as well. And I want it to be kind of like in the water next to the rainforest. So I'm going to make it a little smaller. And just putting the bear in the water so we have kind of like two things going on here, right? We've got the, hot, the Bill, Bill Reed designed grizzly bear and we have some great bear rainforest in the background. In my mind, the stamp is getting close to being done. You'll see here I've used kind of a mixture of a piece of art and a photograph and you know that's fine too. Now of course there's two other things that we need. Uh, definitely we need the country and we need the dollar value of the stamp. And you're also going to see that in the stamp that I made for this I also have a text box to show what's in the picture. Text boxes can be added by clicking on text. And then you just click wherever you want the text to be. Oh, no, nope, my bad. You click sub, add a subheading. So I have um, Great Bear Rainforest. Jewel of the BC Coast. If you're doing, this is all going to depend on what you're doing. I just chose to do that as a topic. And we want this to be small writing, so I'm going to say, I don't know, 32. That makes it. Maybe I would do a bit small, a bit bigger than that. But we'll put that right there. In the final version I have um, on the stamp that I showed you earlier, that's a bigger font, but really doesn't matter right here. Of course, we still need to have the country. This is Canada. Here you kind of might want to ask yourself, well, what do Canadian stamps look like? Really common pattern here that you don't see for everyone, but a really common pattern is Canada being written in a font that looks like it's called a Siri font. It's got little like edges coming off letters and all, all capital letters seems to be really common. So if we want to make it look like a Canadian stamp, let's, let's do that. Maybe we can see if we can add like um, uh, scent. It's 25 cents. We'll put we'll put that on there. All of that can go on there really easy. So I'm going to choose a font that is uh, capital. So I'm going to do a search. All caps. So which one looks most like the Canada? Let's look at Baron font looks pretty close. Way too small, of course. We want the country to be really visible. I'm going to make this an 82 size font. There we are. And we want to see what it is. This is for the country of Canada. Usually, your the country is going to be tucked in a corner somewhere. Now I'm going to add another heading. So add a 
heading. And we're going to say 25 cents. We want to go back to that barren heading. The barren font, I meant to say. And we're still doing the same font size. Maybe we want to do a bit of a smaller font. Maybe, I don't know, 72. It really doesn't matter because this is all up to you. Whatever looks good is the bottom line. And there you have it. It's not exactly identical to the one that I did before, but it kind of gives you an idea. I nearly forgot. The one other thing I wanted to mention about uh, using Canva is that you can upload and uh, not, not only can you upload images, but you can also download your stamp images. So once you're done, once you decide, hey, I really like this stamp, it looks like a real poster stamp, and I'm excited about sharing it. You use the download button. And it will give you a PDF. So I'm just going to do page one. And I'm done. And there I am. I've got, I'm downloading my PDF print, which is very useful because I can then take that file and I can upload the file to Teams, which in other words, makes it something you can hand in as your assignment. I've shown you why stamps are interesting as an option for your nationalism project, that uh, I've given you a sense of the history of postage stamps uh, across different countries and in Canada, and shown you that using Canva as uh, with the poster feature, you can make stamps really easily. I hope you enjoy your stamp making and that you found this video useful.